he was just, he was larger than life. And, uh, and I think that's something that people loved about Jack. Idaho is mourning the loss of a gem state radio legend. Big Jack Armstrong graced the airwaves across the state of Idaho for decades. We learned that he passed away over the weekend. And our Jude Binkley joins us now with a look at the man behind the microphone. Jude, a man that so many people recognize his voice over the years. Oh, absolutely, Joe, because over his decades long career in Idaho, Big Jack Armstrong worked at a number of stations here in the Treasure Valley. And if you couldn't tell from his name, he was a big man with a big love for his community. Oh, he's 1380. Good times are great oldies and Big Jack a little after two o'clock. Yeah, let's do it to it. The voice of Big Jack Armstrong graced the Gem State's airwaves throughout his 48 year long career in Idaho radio, making him one of the most recognizable radio personalities throughout the 80s and 90s. And like Big Jack's name suggests, he was truly larger than life. People would be awestruck when they first met Jack because here's the guy they listen to on the radio every day, the wacky guy, and then you meet him in person and he's, he's just a, a sweet guy. And uh, I, I would always say that he was big in stature, but his heart was even bigger. Dave Arthur was one of Big Jack's closest friends. The two met each other while working at competing radio stations. And it took a little while, but we did finally end up together uh, at KF95. The two formed a friendship that lasted 37 years. Every time that we would say goodbye, there was never a time that we didn't tell each other that we loved each other. I mean, he's just a man full of love. Full of love for his family, friends, and community. I want to say thanks to all the fans who have stuck by me. Making an impact on the Treasure Valley well beyond the radio world. He had a heart for the community too. He did a lot for Make-A-Wish. He did a lot for the uh, Boise Rescue Mission uh, to make sure that they had the things that they needed to serve others here in our community. Big Jack was also involved in Northwest Motor Fest, hosted New Year celebrations in downtown Boise, and his voice backed the sounds of revving engines at the Meridian Speedway. He always had the right thing to say when, you know, if somebody crashed a car, he would name it, well, that's Camaro Corner now, but it was just a lot of fun. I mean, he was just, he was larger than life. A larger than life man with a life well lived. I would love Jack to be remembered as a man who, who loved people and loved the community that he lived in. A man who loved his family and loved his friends and was an encourager and was always there with a big old bear hug and, uh, and a big smile on his face. And Jack was also the brother of former KTVB general manager Doug Armstrong. And Doug told us he'll remember Big Jack for his big personality and his big bear hugs. So Joe, a truly fitting nickname for a man who was larger than life. And I saw in the comments on some of the stories posted on social media about his passing, how devastated the community was. It's just one of those guys that you hear his voice and it just brings you to a certain place in time. I know Idahoans loved hearing for him for decades. Absolutely. Yeah. Jude Binkley reporting here on the News at 6. Thank you so much, Jude.